all right guys welcome back to my channel uh, this is a second time I'm trying to make this video the first time it was interrupted by rain so here it is second time I'm trying to uh, make this video I'm sorry for all the mess over here I've been working on some stuff and uh, yeah I've been busy lately so this is a quick video on a also tool review um, this here is an actually a valve spring compressor tool right uh, this is actually a universal valve spring compressor tool so that means uh, it can be used on a couple of cars so this right here is a 4g63 head uh, the tool claimed that it can be doing the head and I went and purchased it even though I had the other one that I already reviewed on my channel so uh, I'm showing you the tool right now uh, this right here this main uh, pretty much a this is what holds your rail over here and then you compress it so you're gonna have to modify this because it does not fit on these guides so you're gonna have to drill the holes a little bit bigger uh, once you do that you place it in you can use the bolts that are provided in the kit it works fine uh, put it right there and then uh, you can you can tighten it these are 14 millimeters All right. you don't have to tighten it too much just a snug like I said you're gonna have to use washer because of the height of the guide you're gonna have to you use a couple of washers so once you do that uh you're gonna get this this piece of bar that you slide once you tighten these on right here and right here you can actually do both sides without removing this too which is really cool uh so now you can do this side as well so just for demonstration I'm going to do this one right here. Uh, I'm going to, this is what comes in it as well. I'm going to put you on stand real quick. This is the pretty much your cup that compresses the spring. This is handle that is uh, not that really good quality. Uh, this rubber at least is not this this metal is really really hard it's really good quality I like that so so you can use this handle right here and then this bar as you can see goes left and right left and right what I would suggest and I'll probably be doing is securing these I'm gonna probably drill a hole right there and put a pin and hold right here and put a pin pin so I can secure it but here it is uh, you're gonna have to this moves a lot you're gonna have to hold it it is not playing with me let's uh, try this one there it is the keepers run in there and here it is that's right there so uh, so what is the problem with this tool uh, well the problem with this tool if you're gonna remove the valves it works perfectly right you're not gonna have problems at all uh it works just like it's described it does the thing the the parts are really really sturdy this this bar 
is not flexing at all it's it's really really sturdy so i like that part this right here these options with holes i like that as well uh everything else that comes in a box i have no idea like for example i have no idea what this is for like it's probably universal thing so it's for something else uh this right here this cup actually that it compresses uh most of the other tools that i've seen is aluminum this right here is steel and it's hard as hell like it's not even flexing nothing so it, it's perfect it works really good i like that like i said this bar is beautiful it works fine the problem with this tool is that you're not gonna be able to install your springs and in your keepers back in with this tool at least you're not gonna have enough uh leverage to press this thing with one hand and then work on the valve by putting this 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 really really hard uh uh these small uh keepers putting them back in because they have to go once you compress this spring down they have to actually sit in this groove two of them from both sides and then the spring goes back and that's pretty much what holds it locked so you're not gonna be able to do that with this tool so i already reviewed one of the tools that you can do it with as well i noticed a lot of people saying oh that tool is a copy of the euro uh, uh, tool that i i purchased as well and i will review it too so yeah stay tuned for that as well but like i said with this tool i removed uh probably 10 valves in about five minutes so it works really really good for removing it but installing uh not gonna work don't even bother buying something like this for installing installing the valves you're gonna have to have either different thing to do it or you know just uh do it in a shop but yeah like i said removing it it works like a charm so yeah anyway that's pretty much what i wanted to show you uh uh today uh like i said it's been busy a couple of days and uh i know i haven't been uploading not not you know much but yeah i'm, I'm finally getting some time so like i said uh this whole head will be worked on i gotta do uh change the valves change the uh i think i have to change these a uh, these uh lifters so i'm gonna go for third generation one uh so yeah revised one so yeah that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to show you the the tool there is the box the box is really good i like it uh, it's different than the rest of the chinese uh tools that i have so yeah if you like this video of course make sure you like it if you're new uh make sure you subscribe share it with your friends and uh leave leave a comment down below if you need some help or yeah so yeah i will uh i'll see you guys sometimes soon uh with probably a new new video regarding something different. be safe guys